So hello everyone and welcome back to Blackpool FC news today with George BFC. This should air around the time my vlogs would usually air. Usually I try to get them out for around 6 o'clock because I'm going to edit this and try my best I can to get it as exciting as possible with the edits. So Blackpool have, well it's Blackpool news. So Blackpool's recent results is what I'm about to read out. We had a 2-2 draw against Wick and Rond. There was a 2-1 win in, against Blackburn Rovers in the in the Cup. And a 4-4 draw against Cambridge United, which I still cannot wrap my head around. So, it's, it, that is under the reign of Richard Keogh. And I could have included the 4-1 win against Crew Alexandra, in the Papa John's Trophy. But that's more of a side thing. That more get that gets a bit more interesting as it gets towards let's say the quarterfinals, semi-finals, definitely the final. That's when it starts to become a bit more serious. But for the most part, it was good under Richard Keogh. So I think that's why we're going to go straight over to Steve Bruce's coaching staff, where he has got Richard Keogh, Stephen Dobby, and Steve Ange. His long his long term assistant coach. So my thoughts on that is great. As Stephen Dobby was a great was a great first team coach during the time of the time we got relegated down from Championship. He was perfect. If it was up to me, I'd have given him the job. I wouldn't have had Neil Critchley going at all. I'd have just given it straight to Stephen Dobby. But we've had Richard Keogh who's came in recently as a as a stepping coach, who has done very well, even though we did get a 4-4 draw against Cambridge and lost the 4-1 lead. So that's promising for me. I think that's great that we've got those two in the mix. That'll certainly make things interesting. And then there's Steve Ange, I think you say it. I don't, I don't know much about him. I just know he's been his long-term assistant for a while. So we'll find more about him as the, as the days and the season and maybe even the years go on. So, for Steve Bruce himself, he's 63 years old. He was a centre-back, which is a very interesting thing because so is Richard Keogh. Stephen Dobby was more of an attacking player when he was at Blackpool. But it makes it a bit more interesting because, of course... It means he's good with the defence, which is where Blackpool have had some problems, even though Richard Keogh's a defensive centre-half himself. We have still had some problems with, a four, with us losing a 4-1 lead. Those two goals still getting conceded against Wickham. So the defence does need touching on, and I think that's where Steve Bruce might come in. But also a bit of a downer on Steve Bruce, and, and I want to be as positive as possible. But... You cannot ignore. You cannot ignore that he might be another Mick McCarthy. Everyone was hyped when he came in, a former Wolves manager, been in the Premier League for a few years. Everybody was excited, but in the end, he turned out to be an absolute failure for Blackpool and pretty much practically relegated us at that three-one loss against Cardiff City. But anyway. Things could be different. It is a completely guy, completely new guy. It is a Mick McCarthy, so we can be happy about that. But I'm now going to move on to another mat matter, which is Ashley Fletcher given a three-game ban on behaviour in the 32nd minute against Whitcomb Wanderers in our 2-2 draw. I did not see what happened. I don't think I barely anyone knows what happened in that incident, but. He's serving a get three game ban, but for me, Ashley Fletcher is not a huge player for Blackpool. It's not hugely noticeable on the pitch for Blackpool. He scored, I think he scored one goal, a tap in against Crawley Town, and the ball was given to him by the goalkeeper, and he just flicks it into the net. He might have scored another one, I'm not too sure, but he's not as noticeable as players such as Kyle Joseph. What a player he's turned out to be this season. Rob Apter, he's turning out to be a player like I said he would. I've been saying it, I think I've said it on my channel, but I think that he will be a great player this season for Blackpool, and we've just got to keep on watching him. He will improve, and in my opinion, he could turn into another Camaroco Dembele. And let's hope he does. You know what? Let's hope so. 
So we've now got upcoming fixtures. So we've got Exeter City at home. And then we've got Sheffield United at home, but in the EFL Cup as a cup match. Then Charlton Athletic away and Burton Athletic, I think, at home or away. I'm not too sure. But I think I put away. I don't know, but I put it probably at home. So there is quite, still quite a few home games in there to look at forward to. The next two games are home, go home games. I might be going to the Chef, Chef Wednesday home match in the Cup. I'm not too sure. It is the F EFL Cup, but I'll just see if I can get down. And if I can, I will. I'll go down and I will vlog. So let's just hope that we can pick up a win against Exeter, which is our next game the following Saturday at home. I will be going to that, so you've got thumbs up for that video coming soon. And I'm also going to be releasing some possible away vlogs that are going to be coming up, hopefully, this season. So on the 5th of October, my birthday, in fact, I have a bit of a birthday trip for me. I will be going to the Mansfield Town away game. Now it's a bit of a trek, but I'm going, I should be going to that. And then we've got Bolton away coming up in November. We've got Wrexham away coming up on the 26th of December. Not entirely sure because it is a Boxing Day match. I know that I could be going to Bolton, but I'm not going to say anything. But I think I definitely will be going to the Mansfield game. And then there's also Wigan away on the last away game of the season. And maybe the, the, the redo of the Huddersfield game, depending if it's a night match. And if it is, I probably won't be going to it. But they're the away games I should be going to this season. And maybe Barnsley. I did enjoy that last season. So maybe that again. But they're the away games I am looking at. And Rotherham might have slip into there as well. So there might be a few away games I go to, or there might not be as many, but we will see. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video.